So DC motors are probably one of the most important applications of electromagnetism. Um, and it's really important that you understand how they work. So when we're trying to create a DC motor, we're essentially trying to create a coil that continuously rotates, okay? So how can we create a DC motor? One way we could try it is by setting up an arrangement um, that looks something like this, okay? So I have a current carrying coil and that coil is placed right um, inside a magnetic field. Okay, so one interesting thing is that um, in this coil, there are two um, sides that are carrying current directly perpendicular to a magnetic field. Okay, so because we have a current that is perpendicular to a magnetic field, those two sides are going to experience a magnetic force. Okay, so if you use the right hand side rule, we see that side AB experiences a magnetic force downwards. Side CD experiences a magnetic force upwards. Okay, these two forces create a torque on the coil, which causes it to spin. Okay, so the coil will rotate, force is still causing it to spin, until we reach a vertical position. Now, when the coil is at a vertical position, um, there are still going to be magnetic forces acting on it, but they're going to be pulling at all the sides of the coil, which isn't going to make it rotate anymore. Okay, so one simple change that we can make that enables the coil to continue rotating is changing the direction of the current. Okay, when the coil is at a vertical position, it's going to have some momentum. So it's going to try to keep on spinning in the direction that it's already spinning. Okay? So when we reverse the direction of the current at just the right moment, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be, in effect, reversing the direction of the magnetic forces. Okay? So originally, on side CD, we had a force acting up. When we reverse the direction of the current, the forces are now going to act down. Okay? And same with side AB, the forces will be switched. Okay? And this is going to enable the coil to continue to rotate for another half term. Okay, so these are the basic um, ideas about how a DC motor operates. We have a current carrying coil in a magnetic field, and every half turn, the direction of the current is alternated to reverse the direction of the magnetic field and to keep that coil rotating. And that's the basic idea of how a simple DC motor works. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm paying dues. Yeah. I'm in position.